a call requesting to go to lunch and catch up. And so it suggested that we try a restaurant uh, near me, a steakhouse, and I had not been before. So I got, uh, got ready and decided to just walk down there because I was barely a block away. And I lived behind the mall, so you can see that I walk up to the mall Across the street is a restaurant. There's actually several. And if you go to the right on the other side of the street, there's a whole bunch of restaurants. So we got into a conversation about what I thought was the, the best steak restaurant in Armenia. And when it came to strictly the steak, you know, I told him that I thought La Fogata was. But he, he was thinking uh, more in terms of the ambiance, the, the total package. Well, you know, this place is right up there because it overlooks the, the river that runs alongside Armenia. And on the other side, you'll see Kalarka. Well, you can't quite see it because of all the trees, but Kalarka is not even two miles away on the other side of this big ravine. So I brought my umbrella because you never know when it's going to rain and we're meeting at 1.30 in the afternoon. It's been raining around 3, 3.30 just about every day with a few exceptions. And sure enough, it started sprinkling about 3.30 as I was um, arriving back at my apartment. <laughs> There's a few used car dealerships, and here's one. It's, uh, the front is faced with a chain link fence, but you can see there's stickers on the window. It's got prices various information. They have their own uh, sticker regulations here. I recorded all the way down, but I didn't want to have this video go on forever. We're just walking, so I got it at double speed in a couple places. You see up here on the right you've got this red umbrella and it's a watermelon vendor. He'll park there from time to time and their watermelons are fantastic. So I have to remember to hit it on my way back, which I did do. How much was a watermelon? 12,000 pesos, so what is that? Um, Three dollars, maybe? Now this place here, you see these are shipping containers, you're seeing the back side of it. So walking down, I didn't go to the other side. Previously, this was just a couple little uh, restaurants, but they've really been putting some work into it. And you see the sign Mall Mirador, which is talking about the view on Centenario. That's the name of this boulevard, Centenario. So on the way back, I stopped and took a look. Now this hangar style, Quonset Hut style building, I didn't know what was in there. <clears throat> So I also took a look on the way back. I didn't go in because I didn't need to, but coming back, I could actually get a view. There's my building. Another used car lot across the street there. Now in here, it's, um, well, you can see you've got soccer fields. 
There's a cafe on the right, there's a lunch restaurant, and then we've got this Kwanzaa Hut. Now, what this is, it's actually a trampoline center. Trampolines are popular here. And inside, there's a whole bunch of trampolines. At any point you want to see, read the signs or something like that, just uh, go ahead and pause the video. For all my videos, just feel free to pause if you need to. Now this group of buildings up here, on the left side of the road, there's a Basilica restaurant, Italian restaurant, and it's, it's got the uh, good pizzas there. Uh, on the left here where you see Workman, that used to be a Mexican restaurant. It was actually pretty good. And they went out of business, COVID. I don't know what it is upstairs over that. Um, and you can see the green sign, first floor on the right there is Basilica. Further down the road is a restaurant uh, called Salamandra. I've never been to that one either, but it looks really, really nice. I'm told that it's a very, very classy, upscale restaurant. You can just barely see it on the right side there. Basilico. And above that is another restaurant. Uh, it's more like a club, disco. And you got a ATM right there, which is kind of handy. And that's Davi Vienda, so there's no, no fee. This restaurant was packed. There wasn't a seat in the house. Now, he had reserved, and there were a couple tables that were open, but they were also reserved. So he hadn't gotten here quite yet, so I walked around and took a few uh, video shots of the place but there were hundreds of people here. It was really packed. Again, this was, um, I, I arrived just before 1.30. Service was great, very nice. And uh, you see the people eating, there's no mass, there's no distancing. It's been like that in Armenia for some time. And Armenia, there, there hasn't been a problem. Here's our table, nice view, fantastic view. But um, I'm gonna get up and walk around some more. I had to get to all the bureaucracy. <laughs> uh, so how you been, man? All right. Been okay hanging in there? I'm uh, I'm recovering. Still in the recovery process. It, uh, it really kicked my butt. Yeah. Yeah, well, you got to pace yourself, you know. Uh, you're taking the week off pretty much, huh? That's good. Uh, uh, How do you feel now, right now? I didn't now? have a lot of choice. I feel better. You feel better? It's, I've, I've had no energy. Yeah, it's after energy. Oh, well, really? Hey, gracias. Recomendado. Sí, lo mejor. Entraña, trata el cuadril, el green ball. So as I said, uh, we put our order in and figured we'd walk around. Now, to be honest, I took this video here. After everything was done, we already ate. But uh, to put it in sequence, we'll say that we walked around after I ordered before the food came. How's that? <laughs> but that's why it's empty. When I came down here uh, at 1.30, it was so crowded, but I didn't do the video then. This lower area is also part of the restaurant and it was also packed. This is a parking lot, and then of course it overlooks this, this valley, gorge, I don't know what you want to call it, canyon with a river.
and the food came. It was fantastic. This is the container. It's, a, it's a, another version of a, a type of container city, which is on the other end of this road. This is a little more uh, downscale. The other one is pretty upscale. This is really more like for normal people or working people. You can stand here, have a drink, look at the beautiful view at night, um, just kind of see off into the darkness. But it's, it's pretty fantastic. And they had all kinds of different types of uh, food, but it was more pub food. It was basic food. If you want fancy, you go to the other end. And of course, I had to get my watermelon. This sucker was huge! But I got a little smaller one. <laughs> 